So in this example, we're asked to go from 1.45 kilograms to grams. So let's write down what we're given. 1.45 kilograms. We want to convert that to unit of grams. And we need a relationship to do that. Luckily, this is a relationship that we can do in just one step. There's a relationship between grams and kilograms. Kilograms will be in our denominator because we want that to cancel out with kilograms in our numerator over here. So the relationship between grams and kilograms. Well, this k represents a thousand of something. And so if we were to take the thousand that it represents and put it up here in the numerator, I'll sort of write that k up there as 1,000. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. That k kind of goes up there as 1,000. Kilograms as a unit cancels with that, and grams stays, and that's good because it's what we want. So our answer becomes 1,450 grams. That's a simple one-step uh, solution to that one. Let's take a look at the next one. 3.27 times 10 to the minus fifth kilograms to milligrams. Now here we've got one prefix and another prefix. So this would probably be a two-step problem. So let's start here. 3.27 times 10 to the minus 5 kilograms. I don't know a direct conversion from kilograms to milligrams, but I do know a conversion from kilograms to grams. So why don't we do that? So uh, kilograms down here in my denominator, grams up here in my numerator. These two will cancel. And again, this k represents 1,000. So if I put that 1,000 here on the other side, on the numerator, and put a 1 down there. And here I'm going to have units of grams and milligrams. And this milla represents a thousandth, which is 10 to the negative third, or 0 0.001. So let me do it in terms of scientific notation. So 1 milligram goes into 10 to the minus 3 grams. Again, units of grams canceled. Milligrams are what's left over. So what I'm going to end up with is 32.7 milligrams. When I put that into my calculator, that's what I end up with. So I hope you can see that if we simply look at this prefix and then move that what that prefix means into the numerator or the denominator, you can find yourself a good path to a simple solution. I hope that helps. We'll see you in class. Don't forget to be a one side.